Let's talk about hobbies for a second. Everybody has their hobby of choice to relax and unwind. Some people love to watch a movie, maybe have a glass of wine. I love that. But a lot of people love to simply sit down with a good book. That brings us to tonight's Let's Go NEO. News 5's Nadine Abusada takes you to the biggest bookstore in Cleveland. A book can be many things, simply a story. I picked up a book about um, graveyards and cemeteries. A source of knowledge. A book on the philosophy of the body. A book also brings back memories. For me, it's simple. The rainbow fish. There's just something about finding an old book that you remember as a child that takes you back to the feeling of being a child. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. But for Harriet Logan, I think again, I think again, I think again. I think she's again, always again, loved the words again. on the page. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster. When did you fall in love with books? Was there ever not a time? <laughs> As a reader, the, the first author I remember just chowing down on at length was um, Robert Lawson. And at Logan Berry's books, I was 28 when I opened the store 28 years ago. She's got more pages. How many books are in here? <laughs> 110,000, give or take, we're still counting. Then she or her friend Otis. Otis is our champion greeter. Can count. Every type of book you want. We have some beautiful illustrated books. In the store, there are books that are rare. And we have three shelves of first edition Arkham House. New and old. He's one of the golden age illustrator along with something from every genre. We've got Americana on one side and world history on the other. The skylight room, art continues on the east, and the whole other half is children's books. Becoming known as the largest independent bookstore in Cleveland. This place is amazing. I was like pleasantly overwhelmed uh, when I first came in at the, um, just the amount of stuff here, the collection. It's so cool. We actually drove what, two hours to get here? With customers coming from all over. We actually came over from Pennsylvania because she That's found you online, so we drove over. Just to shop. This is a gift. What's not to love about a bookstore that's full of old books and new books? I like to always get a cheesy romance book and then uh, balance it out with something a little bit more serious. But for Logan, it's not about selling those novels. Just all these cool books they have. and Instead. Yeah, I just loved it. Thank you very much. It's providing those memories. I like to think of a bookstore as a third place, which is that special social place that is not work and not home but where you often frequent and feel. I'm trying to think of even where to start. At home and feel a part of your community. And reminding people the power of a good read. And books are a lost art, you know? We're like, we're losing the, losing the art here. So I think it's cool that they're here and um, they're almost at 30. Reporting in Cleveland. Thank you, you, you too. Nadina Busada. Hope they are here forever. News 5.